Hi there! Another quick tip video in Maya. This time we're gonna be looking at a problem I faced while modeling this pillar head. So I have this pet curve and I want to extrude from the main shape profile to create this ornament. Let me just place the pet in the right place for the extrusion, more or less in the middle of the profile. Now I'm going to select the edges and convert it to a profile curve by going to Modify, Convert, Polygon Edges to Curve. Let's open the option box. So if I reset the settings, we'll get a smooth curve, a 3 cubic curve, which is not what we need because give us weird distortions. The solution is to set to 1 degree curve. Now we can select the pet curve and use sweep mesh and play around with the scale profile. Since we need an exact profile, let's set the sweep mesh profile to custom and select the profile curve we created. We can now increase the size and as you can see it's not following the right shape, it's flipped somehow. We can play around with the rotation attributes, but it won't work this way either. Another problem you might face with Sweep Mesh is that it creates some rotation or distortion along the shape. In this case it's not too apparent, if present at all, but it happened to me before. So let's undo and try another approach. In this case we are going to select the profile edges and extrude along the curve. But again, this is not giving us any good result, it's just broken for some reason. Playing with the settings won't do any good either. You might try to close the hole and extrude from a face instead, but I haven't tried that. For our final approach, let's select the profile and the pad, go to surfaces and extrude option box. The top settings for the profile extrusion gave me the best result and then I just used polygons as a result. You might need to reverse the normals. Then I am going to add some taper with the scale attribute and also increase the subdivisions along the path. I also want to adjust the curve, which will affect the shape due to history. From there we can combine the two meshes and merge the vertices. Also you can close the hole in the end. Finally, we can mirror the geometry and duplicate it around in a radial pattern. So that's it guys, as I'm working on this project I might upload some more videos with tips. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, bye bye.